a lot of times you might be trying to learn more about computer network to better understand key terms and definitions. This might be necessary for your educational process or if you're trying to get ready for the interview. This is why we put together this quick video to help you better understand key networking concepts like network node, OSI model, network backbone, DNS, VPN, Active Directory, and a lot of others. Let's go ahead and get started. A lot of times you might be asked, what is LAN? LAN stands for Local Area Network. And LAN typically connects computers or other networking devices that are located within a small physical location. Examples of LANs might be home LAN, school LAN, or small office LAN. Typically, devices on the LAN are connected using Ethernet, which is a wired connection, or using Wi-Fi, which is a wireless connection. A lot of times, you might be asked the question, what is network link? Network link is a communication channel that connects two or more devices for the purposes of data transmission. Typically, network link may be a dedicated physical link or a virtual circuit that uses one or more physical links or shares a physical link with other telecommunication devices. Typically, term network link is used in computer networking to refer to communication devices that connect nodes of the network. There are four main network link types typically recognized. Point-to-point, multi-point, point-to-multi-point, and private or public. Very frequently, you might be asked, what is network node? Node typically refers to the networking endpoint where connection takes place. Physical network node is typically an electronic device that is attached to the network and which is capable of creating, receiving, or transmitting information over a communication channel. Devices could be connected to the network over wired or wireless nodes. And as a very important point, two or more nodes are needed to form a network connection. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Vadim Mikhalenka and I have MBA and master's degree in computer science. Most of my career, I worked as a consultant helping companies implement solutions. I learned a lot of technologies throughout my career, but more importantly, I developed a methodology how to learn new skills, which I would like to share with you as part of my videos. I also work as an educator in a community college, helping people to learn technology and find jobs. I started online training for everyone to share the knowledge and help people to reach their goals faster. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. A lot of times during the interview process, you might be asked to describe DNS. DNS stands for Domain Name System, and this is the system to look up between domain names and IP addresses, which uses port 53 for TCP protocol and is also available on UDP. If you type google.com in your internet browser, computer doesn't know what is google.com and it asks DNS server to do the lookup. DNS system makes it possible for us to type google.com and instead get connected to IP address 216.58.192.174. By the way, you can make a cool experiment and type this IP address right in your browser. And when you hit enter, you will get right into google.com. But I bet you might realize that it's much easier by just typing google.com. DNS architecture on the internet is very sophisticated and it consists of four different layers. DNS recursor, root server, TLD namespaces, as well as authoritative name server. Microsoft Windows Server provides DNS app to help manage DNS in Windows Active Directory architecture. Inside DNS app, you can configure forward lookup zones, reverse lookup zones, trust points, conditional forwarders, and a lot of other things. The query to translate website name into IP address is only one type of queries that DNS provides. In addition to this query, DNS allows for recursive queries, iterative queries, and non-recursive queries. DNS is extremely fascinating topic. If you're interested in DNS, I recommend you type in Google this additional queries for DNS security, DNS zones, DNS root server, primary and secondary DNS, as well as reverse DNS. 
Let me give you a couple reasons why you might consider subscribing to online training for everyone. State-of-the-art skills, tips, tricks and techniques we share with you here on online training for everyone will help you today and in the future. We use scientifically proven methodology to create videos that will help you learn faster and retain more materials. When you click the subscribe button now, you will become connected and will be the first one to receive automatic notifications when new video is released. A lot of times you might be asked, what is VPN? VPN, which stands for Virtual Private Network, is a technology which was originally developed to provide secure access to corporate applications and resources for remote and mobile users. Virtual Private Network is established by creating a point-to-point -point connection through the use of dedicated circuits or through the tunneling protocols over existing networks. In today's world, VPN found another use, as a lot of users would like to use VPN to establish online privacy and anonymity. In addition to providing secure access to office data and establishing users' privacy and anonymity, VPN is also very helpful when you need to protect your data over unsecured Wi-Fi networks. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this and we'll make sure that you get it in the future. A lot of times you might be asked the question during the interview process, what is Active Directory? Active Directory is the directory service which contains the database which was designed and created by Microsoft. Initially, it was only used for centralized domain management, but over the years it became an umbrella title for the broad range of directory-based services. In addition, for storing user accounts, computers, printers, and all other connected devices information in Active Directory, it also became a place for centralized security and network configuration management. Active Directory stores all information organized in organizational units. Each organizational unit contains user, groups, computers, and other devices information. Organizational units are stored hierarchically and allow easy management by network administrators. Please make sure to check out available downloads in the description section of this video. A lot of times you might be asked, what is OSI model? OSI stands for Open System Interconnection Framework. Keep in mind that this is only conceptual framework, which describes the functions of the networking and telecommunication systems. It contains seven main layers, application, presentation, section, transport, network, data link, and physical. OSI model was built as a recommendation on how system should communicate over network to guide vendors and developers. OSI model is also used as a tool to help troubleshoot network problems. An OSI model is also used in communication to describe functions of networking and telecommunication systems. OSI model breaks down communication process into seven layers and each layer in the model has its own specific function. Application layer enables user interactions with internet-connected applications, for example, browser or other internet-connected apps. Presentation layer is responsible for translating the data from the application layer. Session layer coordinates conversations between the applications. Transport layer transfers data between systems and hosts and controls the types of data transferred. Network layer is responsible for moving data through the network. And data link layer enables node-to-node -node data transfer as well as error control. And last but not least, physical layer uses electrical signals to send data from one device to another, which could be done over wired or wireless networks. Each layer in OSI model transmits the data to the layer below and also receives information from the layer above. OSI model was architected to provide comprehensive view of the network, and it includes operating systems, applications, drivers, and hardware to explain everything that's happening in the network. A lot of times you might be asked, what is Backbone Network? Backbone Network, which is also called Core Network, typically provides a path for the exchange of information between different LANs or subnetworks. Backbone Network can connect together networks in the same building, networks in different buildings, or over wide geographical areas. 
typically backbone networks have much larger throughput capacity than the networks that they connect. Some examples of backbone networks might be a large company that has many locations and may need backbone network to connect all locations together. Another example of backbone network might be internet backbone. Backbone network typically performs at least four core functions – aggregation, authentication, switching, and being a gateway as an entry point into the network. There are many different architectural designs of backbone networks, but the most important ones are distributed backbone, collapsed backbone, parallel backbone, as well as the serial backbone. When we were just starting our mission, we wanted to pick the name that would best describe our values. And this is the main reason why we picked how to analyze data.net, because the core of our mission is covering questions how and why in every video that we make. Make sure you consider this when you're making your own decision whether to subscribe to the channel or not. Because online training for everyone is one of the few channels that provides you with the real answers. A lot of times you might be asked, what is a router? Router is a networking device that forwards data packets between computer networks. Routers can connect two or more network segments. And by connecting to these network segments, they establish two or more data lines from different IP networks. Router is a very intelligent network device, which stores information in its routing tables, such as path, hops, and bottlenecks. Using this information, router can quickly determine the best path for the data transfers. Router is one of the few devices that operates on the OSI network layer. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.